Ice Why cream chocolate. <laughs> yeah, aren't you gonna grab some? I mean, you gotta be hungry, right? Yeah, All the starter cast. But I'm stuck with you, you know? Branch into Tango. But bottom lane is going well for... And no one to not get too much regen as he gets stunned. Cold Feet would probably be a death. He does end up procking. Two more auto attacks will do the trick. No one. The first blood Ehom on the board early and low coming in late, but this Luna just did not have much regen to start oh, the lane. So by herself now. They're gonna tango their way out. <laughs> I mean, cut that tree, way. tree out. <laughs> That's clever. They, they well, do have the crawling blade as well. Okay, this is bad. This tanking is roaming and they're killing. Oh. Back mid. Is that how you so got yeah. that ice cream truck? <laughs> uh, a series of four <laughs> life decisions is how I got <laughs> I'll try and go here on no one, but the shackles come through and the cold feet won't proc. Still though, they're getting punished and while that's happening, they'll do so. And they're leaving Faith Beyond in the mid lane, at least for now. And he may go down, he doesn't have a lot of help here. Oh, a big kill for Ramses. Really needed that. I that it's putting on to E home right now. So what's going to happen now? NS is going to go top with the night time. And he's going to try to secure... Oh, casual 3v3 top. Good two hero burrow by HYM. Now he's in a little danger. My time's gonna hit, but the three hero mega storm bolt CTY. The god of the Sven stun, apparently. They're trying to make moves on nighttime. HYM breaks that smoke. Does it from the low ground. Doesn't have vision up the cliff. Oh, that's a very unpleasant surprise as art style will munch him lil still bootsless but oh, able to kill. make these rotations anyway and they want why too next on the list is ancient apparition the feeding frenzy for ehome has begun you ought to fear the night stalker at night and oh now. lil coming out but he's walking into three this could be an opening for ehome they commit the burrow they're going in on the shaman flame break coming through they'll get the low kill Ramsey's not able to punish, though maybe he can with the spider lanes. Rushing forward onto Innocent, so back away. Ramses doesn't want to overcommit oh, here. I mean, while bottom, they are diving. Dusa has the level two mana shield quickly chewed through, and they just maul her into submission. Easy kill. Already the next. The, the game is already hard for you, but they, if they can kill the Sven with the next gank, will make it. Oh. Even it's more daytime, and they want this kill in art style. Sven cleaving through with the Mask of Madness. Good blocking. Oh, uh, Innocent sniping that one, but still CTY. Not sure. I was I was looking at a uh, dire vision oh, for a okay. second there. Maybe, maybe he, when they broke the swarm, he was on the cliff and the ward saw them. Faith Beyond trying to jump on Ramses here, but it always needs that flame break to push him back. Not gonna happen. Now Faith Beyond's gonna die. I don't even know if HRM catches him. Spider whip. No. This Beastmaster would be a very juicy kill. They've got the lasso, they don't have the blink, but they are going to try to get the jump on him here. He immediately roars, Faith Beyond charges in, Sven Stormbolt coming through, and he is very dead, it looks like. But they might take it with him. No, he's still alive. They stop chasing him. Sven starts hitting the creeps. Pasha's going to get away, and Faith Beyond's going to go down, art style. Saving that gank. Can't believe he survived. Meanwhile, HYM also dropped. Try and make a play. Create some space. Well, there go the wards. Not sure they get the tower, but they're gonna try. They shackle up the Batrider, quickly dropping to Ramses. Nothing old chicken can do about this. Doesn't even have the stone gate. Like, BP are using this uh, dual pressure created by the NSMB monster very well. I mean, look at this. You've got a Sven and a Dusa on base at the top of each other. Art style, uh, perhaps a bit over ambitious. The Burrow Strike coming through. HIM secures the kill, but that's five heroes. With so there's no bat blink, though. But the two other heroes have blink, Sven and SK. Good stun on no one to start. Ice Blast coming through. Burrow to follow up. Where's the interruption? They're not gonna find it. Luna has the buyback, might have to use it as Faith Beyond gets roared and brought down. Sand King wow. will drop as well, quickly munching through. Bat Rider is 1000 go away from his dagger. Sand King has to do so much now. Oh, oh, say, say goodbye to your CTY. It looks like Lucen Beam coming through. Lil there. No point in the hex though. No mana for the shackles. Oh, just gets it. At the last second, so he did the math and right now Ehome are still like they're still trying to like get some great time. They're really trying to make plays. The flame break's gonna miss. The shackle comes through instantly interrupted. They have to blow the lasso for this as well, and that means Art Style will come in. We not gonna that. not gonna find it open. We need a lot more of those though, you know. Still an AK gold lead for VP. Actually, have a triple blink now. But. Yeah, but look at this man, he's gonna wanna farm his BLE. 
Roar, straight on to old chicken. That's not a shield. Say goodbye, old chicken. It's chicken for dinner. Maybe breakfast and lunch too. Don't want I mean, Does Good this look like a spider that has a sensitive stomach to you, Winter? Like, look at this thing. This It can eat anything. Probably even you. Here comes the gank bottom lane. Making the move. Ancient Apparition gonna go down, Lasso. But Art Style shrugs that right off. Frozen. Doesn't seem to matter. Now the stomp coming through. The Beastmaster plays from Pasha with that extra centaur conquer. This old chicken to farm up. But not happening. He's still quite down the ranks. Oh, uh, hello, CTY. Quick roar, but it's a bait. It's a trap. Does it matter? CTY low, not dead yet. They get up the lasso. They get up the burrow. They get up the epi, but perhaps he's just PKPs. Lols all the way to the bank. Two quick kills for him. Even Dusa coming in. Where can you turn? Don't look at that ugly snake lady, but somehow he manages to look away, but it does mean death for him as well. Eom, beautiful little yeah, traps from the there. Support. But the backup's on the way. They've got the wards as well. Dropping them quickly. Dusa trapped out. And now the Eclipse coming through. Two hero burrow. A sacrificial play by HYM. He's going to die. But old chicken will anyway. It's four dead for Ehome. The trap gets unsprung and reversed. And V outside the base. The bird's not there to hit the tower. But they're still going to lose a tier three. Yeah, still going to lose Rex. Rex probably as well. Here's our respawning soon. VP stay committed. They work on this melee. And it should be going down momentarily. BKB from no one, he'll secure it. Now, in comes CTY, looking for the Storm Bolt. Probably gets the little kill here. One more auto attack will do the trick. Now they want no one. Teleport scroll in the backpack currently. Slow down, kite it out. Looks like they lose the Luna probably as well. Very fast though, Faith Beyond's gonna stay on target. Stay on target. He's got him. And next Russia will be up fairly soon. I think Ehome has to try and fight there. Okay, oh up. my god, look at this fan, he just gets murdered! I wanna say? Yeah, they, they saw that, so that one's uh, getting dewarded too. Ice blast topping. Incoming. This will be a big kill, Ramses gets caught out, epicenter, didn't have a chance to use the BKB, they're gonna layer the lasso over top of this Ehome strike back, a much needed it seems. Wards get plopped down, Art Style charging in, gets this quick silence off. Now Pasha with the blink, the roar, four step away, Necrobook already used previously, he's not dying quickly, meanwhile, they did kill off Ramses in the top lane, Faith Beyond combining with the Sven, and now they might get more, Pasha in a bit of danger here, this could be the high ground hold that you're looking for, but, oh, too late, bottom lane already caved in, so, BP. Uh, data. So, uh, getting, uh, not that close to his next item, but. Oh no, CTY, scratch that. Not as close as you would hope. BKBs, but he is not running away from those glaives. No one brings him down. That really hurts. And they might get more too. That necro book is still a real pain though. They're gonna roar, they're gonna jump, old chicken. Nice four step, these defensive four steps by Ehome really keeping them in the game as the Ice Blast connects. Pasha's low on the Beastmaster, probably gonna bring him down, but look at no one. Eyes on the prize, focusing on the melee racks, they gotta scramble back, try to deal with this. BKB though, Eclipse as well, just force them off the buildings. VP gonna grab the Megas. And now Ehome, it's creep defense, tower defense, whatever you wanna call it. They are locked in their base at 33 minutes. They already have been locked in their base before. I mean, they have Sven and Dusa. They can defend for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it will be a, a 70, 80 minute game, the, the way it's headed. <laughs> and and Ramsey's, uh, oh, actually we missed the GG. Yeah, they, they call GG, so he almost stepped up. Saving us.